This TV is about eight, about like 80, 85 inches about. It runs at 165 hertz. It does have a G-Sync and AMD FreeSync, but as long as if it has 165 hertz, typically you can game on it. If you prefer a much larger display to play your PC games on story mode, this is it. And they do have another model right here that you guys also might be interested in. This is actually going to feature what's called a game bar. And it's this game bar. You're able to actually have virtual aim points, screen ratio adjustments, input lag check, FPS, HDR, and variable refresh rate. Now this actually earned a 2026 20, innovation award about those who are curious about pricing and are curious about a release date. And wait till you guys see this. This is what I'm really excited to show a lot of you guys. Uh, for you guys who ended up missing the live stream, here it is in 4K. You asked for it, so here it is. It has up to 6K ultra high resolution, and it even has a 3D stereoscopic 3D. So the game doesn't necessarily require 3D, but you can play in 3D. Like they have Hell Is Us. It's similar to like how it is on like say like a 3DS because it is stereoscopic 3D. So you sit like from a certain distance, it'll be hard to see on a camera, but I'll show you guys exactly how it would look like. Yeah, take a look at that. Easy. Like when you flip it at this angle, it looks like it's actually sitting like yeah. right there. Yeah. Which and is with a the, with the you know tracking of it. Oh. Instead of doing the whole screen, it's actually doing individual pieces like the drone, like you were saying. Right. Oh, okay. So it's able to break it up in that right. sense. Right. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, wow. That's amazing. And the good thing about this too is like any non-gaming scenarios, for example, if you're doing content, you have like uh -huh. YouTube. Right. Those can be converted through AI from 2D to 3D. Oh, that's pretty dope. Yes. That's amazing. And this is Hell Is Us is the game. Uh -huh. One out of 63 3D games that we currently have. Uh huh. By the end of this year, we're going to have over 100 3D games. Oh wow. Yeah. Is there and is there like a planned release date for these or not yet? Hopefully by the end of this year. End of this year? Oh wow. It's that's, right there. Oh yeah, that's not that far off. Before you know it, January is done and February's here, so yeah. I'm assuming pricing is probably still being like made up on it. Like I mean, they're trying to figure I don't know if you're aware with uh last the, model, the four K. The four K? That was yes. around two to three K, so I mean we don't have the pricing for it. Right. But when it releases, you'll be able to get all of that too. And also, this monitor, uh -huh. same spec as the one right over across from us. Oh, really? So, so that one's the same exact? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Same spec, just in 3D version. Oh, okay, okay. And I'm assuming um, it's running all on um, 5080s from what, I've, what I gathered? Yes, Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. Thank you. The yeah. Odyssey G. 80 HS 32 inch, it's a 4K and also 6K. So it's a dual resolution monitor. So as up to 6K at 165 Hertz and then 3K of 330 Hertz. To get it all the way up to 6K and say if you're running at 165 Hertz, it's definitely going to push the RTX 5080. Definitely going to give it quite the battle there. And the next monitor over is pretty much the same idea but this one's 4K and 5K instead of 5K and 6K. Take a look at that. And here's the Odyssey G80SH 32 inch. So here's the back of the monitor. The back features like a kind of like a lower profile heatsink and I was just asking him about a bit more details on the actual ports of them but they don't really have the full details um, and they're not really labeled as well. This one you kind of get a better glimpse of what it looks like in the back so you get a bit more features when it comes to their ports and the same goes with these ones. These ones are the more similar models but they are running at different resolutions. This one's more running at the 4K and 5K double resolution. Micro RGB at 130 inches looks incredible. Look at the details and the color. It's just magnificent. I can't imagine the cost of it. It's probably gonna cost you a whole 64 gigabytes of RAM, but hopefully you have enjoyed the exhibition from Samsung's first look.